1100 meters. All set. And a way in racing. Glass Tiger jumped awkwardly towards the inside. The favourite, El Ciberano, yellow sleeves and cap, extreme left-hand side with the white sheepskin nosebands a length off them. Secret Travellers very quick and Glass Tiger now black sleeves and cap towards the inside recovers. Gurkha Chiefs only two and a half lengths off them. King J further back, then comes Mac Chestnut. Rebel Rocks off the bridle, four five lengths off them, sail to paradise. Secret Travellers going the quickest by two. El Ciberano's right there in sec and now about to get the shake-up call. Glass Tigers on the inside. Gurkha Chief. 400 to go. Secret Traveller looks to get away on the outside. El Ciberano's now looking to put his stride together. Towards the inside. Glass Tiger. Still Secret Traveller. 150 to go. El Ciberano's now looking to lift the last 200. El Ciberano and Secret Traveller the last 100. El Ciberano. Secret Traveller. El Ciberano though now puts his stride together and it's going to be El Ciberano the talk of the town knows the business one it. second and third is very close sail to paradise secret traveler King J but the money was down on El Ciberano and the boys can do the banking now Well, the whole week this horse has been talked up. Number five, El Ciberano. They said his work was flawless, top division work, and they expected a winning performance. Just took his time between the 300 and the 200 just to gather that momentum. And there you'll see the big salute from the rider. Brandon Arena punches the air. There's a lot at stake here. Majority of the country was on number five, El Ciberano. From Joburg, Cape Town, Port Elizabeth, all the boys got on. And El Ciberano does the business. Secret Traveller, I must say, for a couple of strides with the Apprentice on, tried to steal a march on them. Sail to Paradise was staying on nicely, and then came King J behind these. Glass Tiger, an awkward beginning. Further back, Rebel Rock, Gurkha Chief, Mac Chestnut, slot ins behind these runners. And with 150 to go, he now gets alongside Secret Traveller, and he then goes on. Only second time at the track. He'll come on nicely, but you can see Brandon Arena at full stretch with El Ciberano. And no doubt all the winning connections will be on course to lead in this son of El Mikdom. Well done to the Tony Riblin stable, Terry Fripp, and all concerned, bred by Mr. Smith. Back to the studio. Well, well done to the winning connections of number five, Al Ciberano. They have to be patient with this horse, but uh, patience has been rewarded and rewarded in fine style here. Brandon Larina doing duty for trainer Tony Riverland and this horse bred by Mr. Smith and uh, the three-year-old son of Al McDam. Brandon, well, I can see this is win that meant a lot to you, and I'm sure because you'll be doing a lot of work with this horse back home. No, he's actually, uh, he works along with Diamond King, and Terry does most of the work on him. But it's, it's, been a, it's been quite a big build up to his second run. Um, obviously, we've come to the course a lot of the times and, and racing hasn't gone through. And fortunately, he's had us in the box. But uh, today, he came out in, in fine form and he won, a, he won a good race. Now, you had to track a uh, uh, comms horse in front who had the claim for. And uh, you look to always have his measure, but that all showed a bit of cheek. Yeah, these, uh, obviously, it being in 1100, um, we threw him a little bit in the deep end. But... I, I knew there was a, a few claim fours in the race, so I, I jumped in positively and I just let him run along just behind them. And he had to, he had to, he had to dig down today, but you know, it's, it's the effort he gave me, it's worth, worth keeping an eye on. Fantastic. Before you leave us, firstly, the, how's the track running? Beautiful. D's fair. Eh? Um, not too soft, not too firm. It's actually beautiful. And the rest of your rides? Um, D's, I think I got place chances throughout the day. If you had to single out one that could be your next best? Uh, I, th I think the filly I'm riding in the next race, D's. Thanks for that. Thank you. I well don't all the connections, Joe, and uh, Mr. Rav and Terry, and to my sponsor, CC Krenna. Thanks. Nice ride, Brandon and Nina. Terry Fripp, come through. Terry, firstly, I must compliment you. I, I didn't get to chat to Tony, but you were transparent as they come. You said, these the source will win on his work back home. You had a good line to a horse called Lucky Break. You were spot on. Thank you for that. And your pleasure, Deez. And first and foremost, 
Hearty congratulations to all the owners. They've waited a long time for the horse to arrive. Yes. Um, they've been very patient with him, and he's always shown us a lot of ability. Um, well done to Robin Smith out on the farm. Him and Lenny Taylor bred the horse together, and they've bred a hell of a nice horse. Um, nothing more can say. Well done to Tony. And um, he showed us his true ability when he came to the course. We've tried, we had opted, had a, uh, a choice of running him at Scottsville and backed him up, you know, the weather, he never can play a part. But we they ran him here because he was drawn on the grandstand side mm. as opposed to the Scottsville grandstand side, which is not really the best. But um, he dug down deep and he made heather with heavy weather to catch the, the apprentice, but his class pulled through in the end. I don't want to dwell on his problems, but nice to see him over it now and hopefully completely after, after this run. Obviously, you're going to see how he pulls up tomorrow, but hopefully he's all fine. This horse doesn't have any problems. He just was just a very big horse and needed to be gilded. Thanks for that. Now, before you leave us, later on today, Brandon said he likes your horse in the next. She's a really nice filly. She's got a little issues as some girls do, yeah. but um, she's, she'll, she'll, be, she'll run a really honest race and we're expecting a nice run from her. Thanks for that, Terry, and uh, give our best to Tony Rovillet. Only a pleasure. Thank you very much. Lovely. Yeah, let's get all the honours in. I see Ian's here. Come through, guys. Come, let's have, let's have a chat. The boys have uh, waited for us. Yeah, they don't want to talk, no, but uh, okay. good, good. You, you were in the ring, and uh, there was a lot of confidence in, in, in the yeah, ring, obviously. Least, I think it was the longest five minutes of my life. I, I get sure, too sure. excited. This is worse than anything, but what a great day. Well done to the breeder, uh, Mr. Smith and Lenny Taylor. We actually saw this horse when we were going to the sales at Summerfield, and mm. we stopped in at the farm. And Tony said, we won't see a better horse than this. His confirmation is unbelievable. We've just bought his full brother. So we'll see. And then I introduced two new people to racing. Alan Tennant, a very good friend of mine. And my brother Graham, he took a share in the horse. And then always Gary and my brother-in-law Ian. Yeah, if I've forgotten anyone, sorry, but I'm a bit over it. <laughs> Ian, now, you know, the trainer tells you, I think this horse needs a bit of time. We're going to put him in the paddock for six months, geld him and we're going to bring him back in. And you guys went along with that, and patience seems to be rewarded. Yeah, he, he, well, he's never had a problem, as Terry said. Yes. He, he had a temperature the day that he was meant to race, and we put a lot of money on him. Um, and he just took a bit of time, so we decided to gold him. Because uh, he is big. If you look at his neck, he would have been too big. But uh, no, he's got no problem. Good-legged horse, very nice. Very you, happy. Know, you know, if they give an award for the owner that visits his horses the most, uh, you'll get it, uh, Ian, because you, you love coming to Summerfell. No, you're not meant to tell that, because <laughs> all the people I do business with, they don't know that. But no, one of those things, I love them. I've always loved horses. From a young age, I did show jumping, and I was a handler at the race course here, so I go back a long way. To Tony Rivlin, to Terry, I had forgotten them. Tony, when he tells you to put the money down, I don't think there's much better than him, really. Ian, to yourself and your partners, enjoy it. Thank well you, done. it is. Lovely. Sure. Ian Horsfield and all the partners there of number five, Al Sabarano. Have you caught this quartet? The numbers you'll need, five, two, one, and nine. That's your provisional round the result, race number one. Coming up next, race number two, the start of the bipod. That'll be at 125.